Consider one bromo 2 methylpropane and draw the following. The staggered conformations of lowest energy and the staggered conformations of highest energy. First, a staggered conformation is where a dihedral angle between the groups is 60 degrees. So a staggered conformation for Newman projection would look like this. Basically, all of the groups would be as spread out as possible, or we could draw it the other way around. This, this one could be upside out, upside down, So, but this is how I will draw it. And next, we have to figure out the lowest and the highest energy. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my molecule first. We have a propane, which is three carbons, one, two, three. And on carbon number one, I have a bromine group. And on carbon number two, I have a methyl group, which is a CH3 group. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw my conformations. And I will look at carbon. I will look at this carbon and this carbon will be behind it. So let's start. And I'm going to say that this is the carbon I'm looking at. So that represents this carbon. And this carbon is connected to bromine and I'm going to put it on top. You can put it anywhere you want, it does not matter. And what other groups is this carbon attached to? Well, this carbon is also attached to two hydrogens. So I'm going to make these my hydrogens. Next, the staggered conformation must look like this, spread out. And what is the carbon behind it connected to? So this carbon is connected to a CH3 group. Again, I'm going to start by drawing it any way I want. Another CH3 group, this is also a CH3 group. And what is the third group this carbon is attached to? Well, it has a hydrogen. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to rotate the carbon behind it to see all of the staggered conformations that are there. So this is the first one. Now let's draw again my staggered conformation and I'm going to keep the front carbon the same. And I'm just going to rotate this here, this here and this here. So the carbon behind it is going to get rotated. So this methyl group is going to be down here. And this methyl group is going to go here. And this hydrogen is going here. So that's my next confirmation and I will do the same again. I will keep my front carbon the same, bromine, hydrogen, hydrogen, and I'm just going to rotate my carbon behind it, this methyl group, and I'm just going to go this way. It's going to be here, the hydrogen is going to be here, and then this methyl group is going to be here. Now. If I rotate it again, I will have methyl, methyl, hydrogen. I will be back to what I started with. So there are three staggered conformations. Next, we have to determine what is the highest energy and what is lowest energy. When we have big groups next to one another, that is destabilizing because they're bumping into one another and that causes strain. So my highest energy will be most unstable conformation where I have most groups right next to one another. So let's go ahead and erase this error so we can see better. And if we look at this molecule, I have CH3 with bromine and another CH2 with bromine. So there is a lot of steric hindrance. All of these groups are bumping into one another and that will make it highest energy highest energy will be most unstable or least stable. These two, we have bromine bumping into the methyl group, but at least one of the methyl group is further away. So these will be the same in energy because they, they have the same kind of configuration and they will be lowest energy. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring and I really hope that you found this video helpful.